get ready to explore. Hi, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support. Yesterday we dropped some ink and as promised, we're going to flip it. Scrying for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. As well, we'll add on Tarot and Oracle and where Mr. Ghost GIF is here kick in. We have Ghost Tube for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures. Overall, please do receive release freely. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome home. Let's get ready. Let's go explore. All right, I'm going to take a moment to close my eyes. Cleanse the palette. You're welcome to join me. Releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. In the name and honor of anyone here at any time. May you meet a message with meaning. Here we go. You know the drill. Please feel well to, to comment below what you see, sense, or feel. Drop an emoji. Any interactions is appreciated. Okay, sorry. I just got to jump right in here. Uh, there's a skull. Talk to me. Uh, we are so here for you. If you would like to talk with us. There's a skull. Um, I'm also seeing baseballs. Baseballs. Like, I don't know if baseballs mean anything to anyone or it's a symbol. Uh, it could also be a symbol of a specific loved one in the afterlife. Hmm. Give me a moment. I'm seeing a smiling... <laughs> It's a very endearing smile. Like if this is the smile and these are the eyelashes, like uh, I'm friendly. I'm hearing I'm friendly. I don't know if some of you have been sensing an energy around you or, oh, that's very interesting. So that's a memory way, way back in the day when I was a wee one. Um, we lived in an apartment. My mom and us kids. Anyway, the point being is there at Christmas time specifically, Christmas bulbs from the tree would like fall off and then like roll down the hallway. That's what I'm seeing. So there might be something about maybe seeing orbs. What is your name? But more specifically, some sort of spherical ball, baseball, maybe even a crystal ball and it moving around on the floor. But there's this feeling in this, like with these eyes, this, I'm trying to let you know that I'm here. I'm really trying not to frighten you. Because when I wander in up here, I'm seeing like devil heads and I'm like, is this, what is this? I feel defensive. Of course, I feel as though I'm trying to be safe. Oh my goodness, see right there. I am trying to scan my environment. Who, what, where, when, why? Who, what, where, when, why? This does feel like a masculine energy. I feel feminine energy, male or female express, but I feel I'm in the feminine en energy and whoever this loved one is, is utilizing masculine energy, male or female expressed. Uh, this is creating the conduit and the connection because I'm seeing the plus and the minuses. I'm also seeing magnets up here. Thank you. No, we're going over there. All right. So they are touching this ball or this thing that's moving. For some, it could also be light flickering a little bit. Photo. A photo. Oh, so that... <laughs> so weird so in my house what I do is or I shouldn't say what I do but some of my telltales I'm not talking about windows open in the wind if there's some energies around my pictures become tilted so it's like these things are being touched as Where symbols as inclinations to I am here I am here okay uh is there something else okay hold on I'm also seeing two things uh, the way it's popping through frogs, mm, toads specifically, if toads mean anything to you and chickens, I, cause I do, I feel a little chicken, but you're here with me and we all know I enjoy me some spooky, but I, <laughs> I don't enjoy scary. 
I'll be the first person to pee my pants and run. <laughs> like, no holds bones. <laughs> Pilot. And we also have here objectivity. Okay, so... Give me a moment. Okay, so the way I'm here, I'll be very honest. The way I'm hearing and seeing this, especially when I reflectively, because it's going through real, real fast um, from like when I was a kid and different things I've experienced and like looking for the chicken door or looking for something devilish, assuming it's devilish, right? Like walking through the night is perfectly fine. But as soon as my imagination kicks in, goes through the Rolodex and says, oh, Michael Jackson's thriller, all those zombies are actually in this darkness coming towards me. I'm like, and I'm out. So for some, it might be acknowledging that imagination, which is a great bridge. I'm not trying to suppress that or say it's not um, a valuable, valuable tool in blending intellect and intuition. But it's like from there realizing I'm on that bridge between and deciding which way I'm going to magnetize to by Ritual. scanning for more information, for more information. Because I'm hearing that song, doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. Something along that line. self preserve because that's what it feels like. I need to preserve myself, right? My, Lower your uh, voice. I don't want to say normalcy because if you're here, you probably like normal is very objective, but it's like, I want to acknowledge that I'm on that bridge and kind of call in my intellect as a certain kind of doctor and my intuition as a certain kind of, uh, nurse, doctor, nurse kind of field, those roles not being in any sort of hierarchy and together they help me make decisions of actually scanning what is a threat what isn't type feel does that make sense i feel like somewhere it does along the line there's a witch on a broom here it's actually a masculine witch i'm hearing brujo specifically i don't know if that's actually a witch or if i'm uh butchering that it's just letting me know something culturally, a concept, a cultural concept <clears throat> that you may have something to do with, or even uh, somebody in the afterlife that through this line, this line specifically, they had a skill, um, they are enhancing their skill if they weren't necessarily, um, Maybe they led with their intellect here or academia, whatever the case is. But now that they're on the other side, that which is still our side, just unobstructed. Nonetheless, they understand this language, symbolically speaking. And you're here. We're all about symbols. And that's how they're communicating. So a ball rolling down the hallway, whatever the case may be, <clears throat> could be very uh, symbol. Yeah, because even ancestry, it, that... Um, brujo kind of feeling or cultural uh something along along that lines there's they're also helping see this um again whoever they are to you there's one specifically stepping forward but it's like there is two let's just say as an example an aunt or uncle a partner um, grandparents, whatever the case may be, and they've passed, Child. maybe you have, and they don't have to be together. This could be, you had a best friend that passed when you were young or a cousin, and then also a grandparent or a partner, lover, etc. but they're coming to, they're coming together to interact with you and deliver the message. And they're helping you with your wings of sorts. It's kind of like, Thank you. I think if you look on that, uh, they might just be like right there. There's divining rods right there on the top. They're metal. But imagine if these were divining rods made of wood. Pathetic. So cheeky. Uh, wood. So there might have been a different kind of technology knowing or understanding. 
was it from the other side scry I talked about magic wands in the water i can't remember way too liminal at this point in time but if i did if perhaps i did speak of that i feel like that's again part and parcel of this Oh, look, because even right here, this young boy has a cane, but I could see it as a metal rod, like a um, divining rod. Yes. I got to acknowledge, sorry, for one person, and if it's not for you, thank you for holding space for others to receive it. There's absolutely somebody who's had a partner pass, lover, partner, husband, wife, and I am just like I don't even know how to say it like I you know grieving just doesn't even do it justice now even though some time might have passed in our you know linearity of line here um it might seem like Tell all of a sudden it. or it might seem out of time context that why why now are they coming but they're coming to help for this next phase Especially if you have a child as well. I feel as though there's something about that child that might. What? It's. Yeah. Okay. I miss them so deeply. I miss them and miss them, miss them. And when I scan my environment to have this interaction with them, like if I'm clutching, you know what I mean? Clutching. Like I just. What's that song? I can't live. And it, anyway, they come in to try and help, like, like a doctor. Yeah, there's something about time there. You might even have like a grandmother or grandfather clock that goes off on its own. Another indication it's not easy. that they're close by. No, and I think sometimes we can take for granted, if I may, that we assume because I'm not saying you do, but one might assume because they're in the unobstructed universe, we're here in the same universe but in you know in density that is effortless for them and there is schooling still you know of sorts being had there's a, a re-establishing the evolution of, of that energy as well and as the density even collectively um, is more or less and depending on how a unit like being your own divining rod and how one moves through, if it's highly intellectual, it might be a little harder for spirit symbols, the nature to to come through and invoke, I don't want to say belief, but kind of, or at least an inspiration of belief. If one is, you know, too imaginative, whatever too might imply, but same as like too intellectual, um, it can be so airy it doesn't get grounded down and it become could be perceived as less believable Beside just you. you know what i'm saying it these are very big broad things and it seems to be and then even with that intuition where it's like uh can almost feel jumpy right everything's a symbol everything's a sign this feels like whoever you are here and now you're understanding the blending of the three as pillars and to, to scan through that. Okay. So I'm also seeing up here, there's a, a body and they're giving the finger. The, these fingers actually, they're not in an FU kind of way, but there's nothing wrong with FU at the same time. If it's, you know, a power placement. Uh, they're hand puppets. It's like talking. So I feel like in one context, I'm in therapy of sorts, talking to myself. Maybe it is intellect. Maybe it is intuition. My imagination Judy. is, you know, working through it. But on the other hand, I was seeing as like these fingers were being flipped or these birds, if I may, um, they're candles. They're candles. I'm also seeing mountain ridges. Oh, Okay. And this could be some sort of, oh, look at it. He's even got it. What is this? The Cherokee talking stick tradition. There's that stick we were talking about, like a divining rod, the talking Why stick. Why are you here? Or even finding out a truth about oneself. In, while trying to preserve, I want to say normalcy. Normalcy. 
there's all these sticks around not sticks and stones there's all these sticks divining rods sticks um canes Uh, at some point in time, too, I don't know if it felt like I got, um, you know how, like, they say, like, to, to kill a vampire, putting a stake through one's heart? Talk to me. And that kind of, we are so here. You are talking to us right now if you'd like to chime in a little bit more, but we are getting ready to close. This could be that healing over here with the doctor, doctor, give me the news, I gotta... Bad case of loving you. I don't even know if that's the words. I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Just getting ready to close out here. Um, okay. I'm going to let it be. I'm not going to constipate it. Organ. Two things that are coming through, and I'm going to jump through really quickly. So see how on the warrior there is the red, the red over the eyes in the head. To me, that is the blending of like the root chakra generating ability in the crown uh, and bringing those two together, two feet and heartbeat, you know, bridging the polarities, let's say, of your intuition and your intellect for whatever reason that seems to be. Hello. The, hello. But I, Okay. So, as a side scry, for one, few, or many, there's somebody laying on the ground. Their body is deceased, and they are looking at their body outside of it as though they are, like, scanning it. Like, if I could almost, like, turn it this way, if I was laying down or laying down. I feel like they have passed on, and they got to, like, look at their body and realize their their true spirit form flip side you or some hmm, you if you're resonating here are working very Why are you diligently here? in astral or out of body experiences and this is helping something like this is almost like a deepening of communication with the quote unquote other side sorry Oh my goodness. Awkward. And then I have trust here. If there's any art, the Polynesian voyagers of the Pacific Ocean, because there's journeys, whether it is this person that passed and got to look at their body before, no, as they were embodied in spirit form, re reestablished, like the, un I don't know why the words aren't coming out, but you know what I'm saying. They're in spirit form looking at their physical body deceased. They came to their understanding of their warrior spirit of sorts. And now they are on their voyage. But there's a lot of emotions to Lord. connect to somebody in the physical realm still. The, like navigating earthly emotions and the way they're embodied and how they affect uh, intellect, imagination, intuition to try and get messages to one. This temple is coming through of this healing temple because this is inevitably, this wanders more into like the actual or out of body experiences that you are having consciously, unconsciously, subconsciously in this same kind of aspect. And it is moving through. You're not alone. There are lots of others, but trusting the, the guiding light of things by like scanning the waters. But I feel like this trust leads me to here like this is where i'm going the um i could say like overall temple of sorts awake hmm i saw that moon as a skull again I hear the words. I just, I need a moment. Levels of lucidity. See, there's, it's like this trifecta. Intellect, imagination, intuition. Which door am I going to take of all the different pillars? And I'm becoming more awake. You might be lucid dreaming and becoming more lucid in your 
in your dream state, subconscious, etc. Buy it's me a coffee. Really, if you do decide to buy me a coffee, thank you. <laughs> Link is below. But this feels like I am choosing which which way, right from the beginning of the chicken door, of seeing, seeing uh, symbols expressed in movement that seem out of the ordinary, but you're here, so you get out of the ordinary. And I'm choosing which way I'm going to interact with it. And I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust my emotions and I'm going to trust my energy. I'm going to trust what my intellect all decide on together. Cosmic self and inner child. Never. What's that song? I think it's a Cheryl Crow song. Some sort of Cheryl Crow song is coming through. Oh, thank you. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is have some fun. Until the sun comes up over the boulevard. Okay, closing out messages here. I am... Dream body is on the bottom. Very aware of the situation. Very, very aware of the situation. Excuse me, Mr. Pirate. Cosmic self and inner child with the void. It, it, this is like knowing. Okay, thank you. In here, there's a small person. Say this void has eyes. That I am a child of the void. Which makes me of the light. Which makes me of the light. Okay, so I'm seeing this as a big old spade. Back off. I have carved out certain experiences. I'm also seeing a reindeer. I'm also hearing gobble, gobble, gobble. Maybe something about Thanksgiving. Turkeys might be a symbol for you. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Because I'll admit, like, through this experience, I kind of feel like, am I going to get gobbled up by this? You know, am, am I going to get gobbled up by this? Whatever this is. If I trust that my partner, loved one, or I'm sensing is giving me symbols and I believe it, am I being gobbled up by my imagination? If I intellectualize things for better, for worse, pro con list, am I Nobody being, knows. am I being gobbled up by my brain? Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a very weird message and yet somehow it makes perfect sense. I don't know that I need to try and put it together because all these things are smiling at me. All these things are smiling at me and I'm magnetizing towards, thank you, the moon with those magnets to the moon. And it's like seeing when I saw those like devil heads like come out of the shadow of sorts and really what like as the the levels of lucidity come into play and it kind of shines the light or like that little bit of a glimmer and I can see not in like the whole woke thing that's been um that's not the terminology I want to use though it's in the air of it but I feel like collectively the majority has changed the definition of it so I'm going to use awake I will use the term that's there then I can actually see it's these other people in this playground and I'm like oh this whole time I was so scared to interact or I was really nervous I was so hesitant over all these wonderments, things I had imagined or because of hurts that had happened before, disappointments. So I don't step forward to people because, you know, of my the past history. She won't leave. But that's done. I feel like now you're you're you've magnetized to these ultimate layers of lucidity that this energy scanning, it's unsaid and unspoken. It feels very like the emotional body comes into play, but then the physical embodiment knows when to like raise the torch and to continue talking or start talking. Start talking. Something about laying an egg as well. All right. 
I'm going to leave this here. I hope this did inspire, serve, educate, or entertain. And until next time, I will see you again soon. Sending so much love. Bye. Scorpio. Scorpio. Cut the deck. Not the cheek. Power of prayer. Beautiful. Clear audience. Listen, start talking. Whew. This was good.